Bruno, we're here seconds before you weigh in to oh, talk hi. to us about training camp. How was that? Uh, training camp's been good. It's been awesome. Um, we get good work here in LA. So, yeah, it's been great. I love it. Is what happened your last fight behind you? You're over yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, make adjustments. You know, move on. Next fight, that's what we focus on. Throughout your career, have you been a part of that? Or bad decisions? And, and are, are you used to dealing with it? Or was that the first time? That's the first time, so, yeah. yeah. Did it take a minute to get over? Or? Um, yeah, for sure. But, you know, I accept everything and move forward. That's what we can do. Like, live in the moment, be here today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tomorrow, you're set to take the, the stage. Um, yeah. What can the fans expect? Lulu. They can expect Lulu. <laughs> Bang Bang Lulu. You know, okay. Big, big fight, fellow Australian Jeff Horn on Saturday. What do, what do you make of the fight? Um, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a fight. Um, I'm sure Jeff Horn's going to come in strong and um, with you know the way he fights. And, and Crawford's going to be technical. Um, he's a great boxer and a great fighter. So it's going to put on a really good show, I think. Um, do you expect the size to play a role? You yourself as a fighter. Um, I don't think so. Not for this fight. I don't think so. I think um, Crawford's definitely in the right weight moving up and he's achieved a lot of great things in the other weight so moving up is a good thing and I don't think it's going to affect it much at all to be honest with just, you. Just as a fighter yourself, what would you say off the top of your head the one advantage that Horn has going into this fight with Crawford? You know, like, I guess the size a little bit but, you know, his strength, like the way he fights is probably a little bit... Um, Unorthodox, so that's a strength for him. I have to ask you this year, what are the goals? What do you want to accomplish? This year, yeah. my goals, you know, I want to become the WBC champion and um, at, at my own weight, and that's the goals. Uh, become a great champion and great ambassador for women's boxing and continue to inspire the women. Speaking of the WBC, if the fight with Canelo doesn't go through, the WBC is set a mandatory Charlo Golovkin. What do you make of that situation? If you've been keeping up with it, what do you make of it? Um, yeah. You know, I, I think Glovkin wants to fight, you know, that's the thing, like he enjoys fighting, that's his passion, that's his dream, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be up for the, any challenge, so. Okay, last words for the fans and tell them where to follow you on social media. Uh, you can find me at uh, Bag Bag Lulu on Instagram, and, and thanks for tuning in to all my fans around the world and following me and keeping up with the Bag Bag Lulu. What's the prediction? The prediction? For fight tomorrow. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <Not> <laughs> I'm going to get a fucking say we're going to win.